What's up teachers, today I want to test out Canva's new magic eraser tool and show you how you might be able to use it in your professional practice. Let's get into Canva. As soon as you get to canva.com, make sure you're logging in using your Canva for Education account, which will unlock most of the premium features of Canva. As soon as I'm in my design, I'm going to go to upload so I can start to bring up some images to test out Canva's magic eraser capability. So for that, I'm going to start by bringing up this image of a recent paddleboarding trip. Pictured here in this image is a dear colleague and friend of mine, and I'm going to, he's actually on his first ever paddleboarding trip, and I'm going to test out the magic eraser capability. I haven't even tested it out on this photo, so let's see what it does. Click on the image and go up here to edit photo. Now you can go down here to go back to the old experience and bring back some of the old features, but for now I'm going to stick to the new features and try out magic eraser. As soon as I hit magic eraser, it's giving me some options to play with the brush size. I think the brush is actually a good size for this image. I'm actually not using a mouse, so just using the trackpad, I'm going to hold down the trackpad and just brush over the part of the image that I want removed. And let's see how well Canva's Magic Eraser does. I'd say that's pretty good. That is hard to see there that anything has been edited at all. Okay, Canva, you passed round one. Okay, for our second test, I'm going to bring in this image of a man doing a handstand on a beach. Now this is slightly more challenging for the AI because we don't just have a flat water texture. We have beach we have some waves and we have some water and we have some sky. So let's see how the AI does on this one. Again, I'm going to edit photo magic eraser. I don't think I need to change the size of the brush. Now I'm going over this in a little bit of a hurry, partly to show you that the brush I don't think needs to be perfect as you go through this. Maybe it does, we'll see. Again, I have not tested this image before recording the video. So let's see how it does. Can it match the ocean and the waves properly is something I'm really curious about because that's where the AI should struggle. Wow, not bad, maybe a little bit of a fault here, and oh, look at that, a little bit, uh, some flaws here, okay? So I think by just touching this up, I think I can get rid of the flaws. That's interesting, wonder if I missed those. Now there's a little bit left over. I'm picking up a bit of a tint, a bit of a tinge left over in the sky from the swimmer or the surfer's handstand, but most of this, I would say that is pretty, pretty good. Not bad at all. You might say a little bit of a fault here, here in the waves area, but that's a pretty good edit. So Canva, you passed round two. All right, for our third test, I'm going to use one of my favorite athletes right now, and I'm a little bit biased because I'm a Vancouver Canucks fan, but let's see if we can get rid of this player, Elias Pedersen. Now in real life, I definitely would not want to get rid of him. He's probably the best player on the team, but I'm going to go to our old magic eraser, edit photo magic eraser, and maybe I will increase the brush size just a little bit. It. Okay, I'm doubling it, so more than a little bit. And let's, again, brush over Elias Pettersson. He's a Swedish player, plays for the Vancouver Canucks. This is ice hockey if you're not from North America and you're wondering what in the world are we looking at here. So I'm tracing over his stick, his equipment, his jersey. And have I missed any part of him? Maybe a little bit there. Let's see how that does. Now that should be very tricky because we've got multiple textures and layers behind it. Now, it did a pretty good job. It left a little bit here in the middle. Again, not sure why it left just a patch, but let's see if we can get rid of it. If we, okay, so the ice is looking good. The boards are, that is kind of amusing actually. We're left with a, we're left with a word and some letters that don't really make sense, but not bad AI, not bad. Up here on the bench, sort of some unintelligible figures. It's trying to duplicate uh, number 21 over here and bring him over, but I, we're going to say not a perfect job, but definitely proficient we'll give it a proficient and say that could pass at a first glance and considering the speed that we did that in I'm going to give it a pass on trial number three for trial number four, let's go to a well-known basketball player, and that is LeBron James. Now, this one should be equally difficult because we've got sort of a different, we've got some different textures going on in the background, and I'm just going to size it so that we're not cutting off. It might have to go away from my YouTube thumbnail size because I don't want to cut out his, his feet or his head. I want everything there intact, so that's okay. We could always resize the canvas later, but let's see how, and maybe 
I can zoom in a little bit here. Let's see how Canva's magic eraser tool does on this image. All right. So again, we're back to a brush size of 20. Maybe I'll bump that up to 34. And I, I thought about just getting rid of the basketball, but I don't think that's, or pardon me, getting rid of everything but the basketball, that which would be kind of amusing. But I think for the sake of time, I'm just going to do his whole body and the ball. Did I miss any spots? I don't think so. So will it be able to duplicate the floor and the audience? And again, I'm just so impressed by the speed. Now it picked something up here that's a little bit too bright. Let's just touch that up. And again, not a bad job. You're not going to be able to tell at a quick glance that uh, there was the world's greatest basketball player there. So Canva, you pass test number four. For test number five, I'm going to bring in five high schoolers. Now this is going to be a challenging photo because we've got some interesting textures going on in the background. And I have tested this photo and I know that the magic eraser is going to struggle and I'll show you why. So I'm going to click on the image and go to edit photo and magic eraser. And the guy I'm going to take out is this guy. Now it's going to be tricky for the AI to figure it out because he's got a tree sort of coming out of his head a little bit. And so you'll see what the AI will do here. And I just sort of want to prepare you for what may go wrong if you're trying to get a student out of a photo. That's one of the probably the most common uses I would think for teachers is to remove certain students from school publications, especially if we don't have the proper permissions in place or parents have specifically requested that they not appear on social media. So not a bad job of erasing the erasing the student. This guy now seems like he's on the fringe, doesn't have a whole lot of friends and he's, he's being uh, he's being excluded maybe that's not really funny okay <laughs> Now let's try to get rid of this tree because the tree seems to be out of place. It's just sort of a phantom tree and let's see what it can do. I should have, you know, I should have made my brush size a little smaller there. That would have helped the AI, but not bad. Not bad at all. I know we have some irregularities on the sidewalk here, but that is not bad. So Canva, you pass test number five. And for our sixth and final test, we're going to try a political picture. Now don't read any kind of political political preference or statements into what I'm doing here, but let's try to get rid of one of these politicians. Now I have to admit, I actually don't know who this individual is over here. I know this is Angela Merkel, Justin Trudeau, and Donald Trump of Germany, Canada, and the United States respectively. And so we're going to try to get rid of this character here. Now I have played with this image in the past and I know the magic eraser is going to struggle a little bit and I'm not sure why in this image. So maybe in the comments, if you know, you can help help me, but here it goes for this gentleman. So we're going to brush him right out of the image. And again, the AI is going to struggle here. I'm not totally sure why, but it's not going to be as satisfactory a result. Something I will say is that if you're finding some value here, please hit that like button. And I would love to bring some stock photos of actual elementary students into the video, but YouTube does ask me to declare if any minors appear in the video. And so I'm going to try to avoid that. All right, not a terrible job. We're left with some blue suit here. And so let's see if we can get the blue shading. But like I said, not, not an ideal erase job here by Canvas Magic Eraser. We'll see if it can do anything about the brick. It still shows a suspicious amount of editing here. And so maybe that's that's a good thing for democracy. I'm not sure. I don't know how to get rid of that smudge. Last try. We'll see if the eraser can touch that up just a little bit. Again, not great. So I just want to show you an example of an image where the Canva magic eraser did actually struggle a little bit. At any rate, teachers, I hope this helps you with your publications. I hope that this gives you some ideas in terms of maybe taking students out of images where you don't have those permissions in place and maybe you can use it in some of your promotion some of your creative work whether it's in your school or in your personal life canvas magic eraser is only going to get better and i know that google photos has a similar magic eraser in their ios so on your phone or on your mobile device you'll be able to try out a similar feature right there in google photos Thank you so much for watching. Keep that fire for learning at Burning Bright Educator and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.